Hello everyone, it is Christine here for Thrifty Thursday. Now I wasn't necessarily planning on doing a Thrifty Thursday today, but I had something arrive in the post today and I thought I would open it up with you. So I've taken it out of its envelope to get rid of the addresses, etc. Um, but it is all still wrapped up um, and I haven't peeked inside and I thought I would share it with you. So I'm not really in need of any vintage linens, but I periodically have a look on Facebook Marketplace and when I see a bulk lot of linens for a steal of a price, um, I find them a little bit hard to resist, particularly if they have some really beautiful items that I spot within the bulk lot. And this is just a, a real steal um, of a, well, I haven't looked at them, but I think it's going to be a real steal of a deal um, for just a massive lot of beautiful, beautiful linens that I will be able to use in my slow stitch projects. So let's take a look. So it's exciting getting inside. Let's move that laid out there. And then I might move them to the side and let's start to start to take a look at what we have. So first up, our gorgeous, hand embroidered for sure, but very beautifully embroidered. Um, little place mat or tray cloth with the beautiful detailed stitching on both corners. Um, the lovely little um, stitch all the way around the edge as well and doesn't look like it's even even stained i'm never worried about stains because i often then plan to use the ones that are stained um, to be able to chop them up and use them in my slow stitching but that's in very good condition and then a lovely little napkin always handy i think i might even have one in that similar similar design already and then a beautiful cloth as well um, or a large large napkin and it's got the hand crochet work around the outside so again just nice to either use that as a whole um, for a back of a stitching piece or or in portions now these seem to have some little age marks on them um, so I can give them a wash and see how they see how they fare but even if with those markings I will definitely um, even use that in my stitching and you can always um, dye it as well if you want to but I think that just adds to the charm and then another one that's got a little bit of yellowing on it as well but just yeah look at the delicate delicate work and then the beautiful linen in the center just lovely lovely linen very delicate and then Another one here, a little bit of thread or something caught on that little bit of red. Oops, I think I'm looking at the wrong side anyway. Is that the front? Got a bit of fluff there as well. It's a beautiful little mat with lovely stitchery on it. And then another beautiful doily. So fine, just very, very, very fine. Okay, and this one, wow, look at the work on this. Which one's the front? Is that, that's the front there. Lots of tiny little, like little flowers all made into a larger, larger crocheted edge. And again, just gorgeous fine linen. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That might have to go into my treasures piece. You can see it's got some some yellowing staining up there so that gives me, give me gives me the rights to if it doesn't come out to be able to chop into it and use it now this was one of the cute little designs that i spotted in the bulk bulk lot and i thought oh i want to have that little puppy in my collection you know i'm a dog person and i just thought how how cute how sweet and then the other end just has a sweet little flower scene so that one i don't think will be chopped into could be incorporated in its hole into a piece. Um, another hand crocheted edging again with a bit of staining, but we don't mind the staining. And then beautiful embroidered. Yep, now I'm pretty certain that's hand embroidered by looking at the back, um, but just so neatly done. Whoever's done that, that satin, satin stitch is just impeccable. It's gorgeous. 
lovely hearts. Again, they can be used individually in pieces. And then a beautiful, fine hand crocheted design. Just lovely. That could, that could definitely go in the treasures piece, um, just sort of incorporated as a whole so it can continue to be treasured. Little stains on that again, just beautiful flowers. Yep, hand stitched as well. And then some more beautiful ones, some tiny little holes in there. So again, that can be can be cut up. That could be even nice on my burgundy piece because that's a ready into a burgundy colour. And then another one similar to the one we looked at before. Another lovely doily. Again, it's got a few little little stains on it. Beautiful cutwork, cutwork rose. That one could be a machine embroidery, I think. And then a sweet. I love this work it's just yeah really it's very fine and so you can actually put it over fabrics and um, yeah have it within your collage that way and then the fabric show show through it there's some more of the little um, no it's a different design actually than the other ones but there are five of these so they'll be nice to use and then a nice little small linen linen doily and another matching one and then we have another beautiful white and this one I think is machine embroidered as well but just incredibly sweet and it's great because you can always use this as um, a little sort of like frame and do a piece of stitchery yourself in the center would even be lovely for a monogram which is our current prompt for Roxy's Journal of Stitchery. Then we have another beautiful little doily with a linen centre and lovely crochet work around the outside and another matching one of those. And then just a regular sort of um, slightly coarser doily. But again, you can just yeah, use individual elements of it in your stitchery and then some little doilies which are again a great size to either use at that size or to yeah cut, break them down into their individual elements and there's a whole bunch of these ones so that'll be great you know nice cream cream color and then this one it's got a little stain there so again we'll feel free to be able to yeah either use sections of it or yeah just sort of break it down into pieces that can be used in our slow stitch. Another sweet little one with little hearts. And then another one here. Beautiful. And then a star one over here. Lovely fine work and beautiful, beautiful linen again. And then a little, little tray cloth or a little mat. Similar design to those earlier ones. But done by hand, I am pretty certain just done by a very, very um, skillful hand. I cannot do things that neat. And then some larger pieces of linen. And this one has some staining on it, but it has a very, I think it's like a, yeah, an Asian, a, a chinoisee design. Asian sort of style um, design woven into the fabric. And just, yeah, very, a very dense um, linen, very thickly, not thickly, like it's fine, but um, yeah, all the threads are very close together, densely woven. And then we have another larger cloth. This one has got roses woven into it. 
but I just yeah I love these edging pieces on it they will just be really lovely to use in my in my stitchery and then beautiful blue um, linen beautiful rose design on it gorgeous stitching that's really yeah, raised and lovely and then some and these she didn't actually have in the ad but she just said yeah I can I've got some other things would you like them and I said oh yes I'd love those Irish linen um, never been used they would have been made to be be stitched on I think I've actually seen Susanna with some similar ones with um, like a breakfast style design which the other one that I'll show you in a moment um, but they are in impeccable condition and they are huge they look even bigger than a normal normal tea towel um, and they've got that lovely that lovely line they will make a really beautiful base for something to something to stitch on and yeah, potentially to to stitch the design and then to add add further elements that is just delightful just have to fold it down so i can even fit it on on screen that one laying there and then there's a second one again never been used still got its original original labels on it and this one's got a beautiful yellow green and red so it's got yeah this one's got a few age marks on it but it'll be interesting it looks like it's never been washed so whether I give them a gentle gentle wash or just embrace them with their their aged aged effect um, and that one's got a got a gorgeous um yeah little breakfast or little drinks scene on it but they just feel it feels so so beautiful really lovely so there you go that is a stash of gorgeous goodies picked up on facebook marketplace for a steal and will give me many happy pieces to use in my in my stitchery so i hope you're having a great thrifty thursday and yeah, if you want to go thrifting, you don't have to necessarily go out to an op shop or charity shop or thrift store. Um, there's bargains to be found all over the place where you can repurpose things that people no longer desire and have just a gorgeous um, stash of goodies to use in your own stitchery or crafting um, projects. So yeah, have a look around. You never know what you'll, what you'll find out there. And yeah, just love this little, little puppy. So cute. So take care, folks, and I will see you soon. Um, I'll see many of you in tonight's episode of The Stitch Along, where we're learning a new stitch every day and we're having fun with rosebuds at the moment, or roses as well. Um, and I think we'll be moving on to a teddy bear made out of bullion knots soon. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you soon. Bye.